It is that time of year again. The SMCGR is upon us. I'm Jay Ball, and today we'll be talking about the top 10 trick track riders in the world. The SMCGR is something we do every year. Myself and a few of the SMC guys get together and we decide who we think are the most deserving riders to be top 10 for the year. And 2023 was a really great year. We had a lot of people make their start at the beginning of the year and then just went on to absolutely dominate the entire scene. Tons of new faces this year, tons of old faces trying to battle out for their spots last year. First off, we start with the cusp. The cusp is essentially honorable mentions. It's people that are just on the verge of breaking into that top 10 spot. First person on the cusp is gonna be France's own Lucas Sental, AKA the official pony. He first came up on my radar this year and then went on to start doing some really innovative stuff. He got second place at Fixated's Trick Track Comp and he did all of this while beginning in 2023, basically. Next up on the cusp is gonna be a face that a lot of us know and that's gonna be a Snyder Silva, AKA Snikey. While he didn't have too much activity on the gram or edits this year, the few amount of clips that he did post always blow minds. He's got insane back wheel fakey wheelie control and he's starting to take off both hands, grab the wheel, one hand. We're gonna see a no-handed backwards wheelie soon from him. The bike control going backwards is just nuts. He also had some really great clips in Foad's last try video. Next up, not only a fresh face to this list, but a fresh face to fixed gear freestyle as a whole, and that's gonna be Zach Zuma out of England. To the public eye, Zach started riding fixed gear in 2023. That's when he posted his first clips and they were already really good. So he had to have been riding longer than that. And if not, that's even more impressive. He's been hanging out with the fixed pirates crew. So there's a lot of people around him that are probably pushing him to progress quickly. And you can see that because he's got great bike control. He's got some unique lines and he's starting to blur the line between Trick Track and FGFS. And I think he's only gonna get better from here if he sticks with it. Next up is a familiar face to this list and that's gonna be Los Angeles' own Eric Flores, AKA Wavy Baby. Wavy had a pretty strong year. He released just over 20 IG clips and he put out a solo edit on YouTube. Along with a good amount of activity, he also got first place at the Conquer Concord AM competition, which was really impressive too. Hopefully Wavy can stop breaking frames and just ride more this year. Next up is going to be Japan's own fourth one. While he had a fairly quiet year, he released an edit at the very beginning of the year and sprinkled a few Instagram clips here and there. And the edit that he posted was one of the most mind blowing edits that I think Fixed Gear has ever seen actually. His flat ground BMX mind has a completely different take on Fixed Gear than pretty much anybody else. I hope to see him ride more this year because Every time he posts a clip, it's something insane. Last up on the cusp is a veteran that we all know and love, and that's gonna be Robert Gaines, AKA 80 Proof out of Australia. Robert had a pretty solid year. He always likes to mesh trick track, flat ground, and then FGFS spot stuff, and it makes for really entertaining riding. He posted about 30 Instagram clips for the year, and he even picked up a new sponsor, Vendetta Bikes. And that's a big come up for both of them because Vendetta makes cool bikes, and Robert, he's kind of a big deal. And with that, let's go into our top 10. Number 10 on our list we're very familiar with. That's gonna be Korea's own Hyosuke Lim, aka Bongu. Hyosuke has stayed really consistent over the last three years, posting tons of clips all the time, having fun on his bike, and always progressing while doing it. He posted just over 60 Instagram clips for the year, which is a lot of activity. And he even joined the Korean army while doing all of this. So finding the time to ride and have fun while being in the army is not easy, so. Big ups to Hyasuke for that. He's really been progressing his bar spin game. He's doing tons of bar to wheelies now and he's staying on like 28 C tires while doing all of this. Please get bigger tires. Your bike will thank you. Even though your bikes are just begging to be more sturdy, you're still killing it either way. Number nine, a huge name at this point, had a little bit of a quieter year than normal. That's gonna be Kyle Pagku out of Philippines. We all know Kyle for his mind-melting flat ground combos and just absolutely dominating every competition he enters. Unfortunately, no contests entered this year because I don't know if there were any, but he did post just under 10 Instagram clips and those 10 clips though, go crazy hard. Not a lot of people can link together the stuff he does and do it with the style that he has. Next up on the list is the hardest working man in the game and that's going to be chris alzona aka chris waioki chris posted just under 140 instagram clips for the year that's like a clip every other day that's nuts i post a clip like once every month i can't imagine doing it every other day not only that though he ended up getting third place in the trick track pro division at our suck my comp six this year which is a pretty big deal because there are some big names there chris is known for linking together every flat ground move that you can think of 
fish and chips, into big spins, into Keo, into bar spin, into foot plant drag, all this stuff. He's always linking it together and he's making it look good too. Number seven, also a fresh face to the fixed gear scene in 2023. That's gonna be Harvey Hartrub, AKA Fixed Bean out of London. Posted just under 40 Instagram clips for the year, and he ended up with a third place finish at the Great Alley Cat of London trick comp, along with winning best trick for that. Harvey is innovative, he's got good style, he does most of it strapless, which makes it more impressive, and he's consistent. He's got a good mix of tricks that come off the ground, tricks that spin and stay on the ground. Overall, he's just a really strong rider, and he's just getting started because he's still pretty fresh in the game. Next up on the list is a low key killer, Colombia's finest, Diego Valero, AKA Stellar Dust. Although on paper Diego had a quiet year with only seven Instagram clips. He stays pretty active on the ephemeral page. He gets posted in a lot of group edits and also the clips that he does post are some of the best smoothest trick track riding I personally have ever seen. Style counts and Diego has it. Everything he does is just silky smooth and dialed. He's got a lot of trick choice, a lot of bike control, and he's even starting to dabble with 26 inch bikes. So you know that bike control can transfer over to anything. We're officially halfway through. Number five on this list, another newcomer to 2023. That's gonna be Jaejun Jong, AKA Hammer FGFS out of Korea. If Chris Alzona is the hardest working man in fixed gear, then Jaejun is number two, because he posted just under 120 Instagram clips for the year. That's a lot of clips. And he basically got his start at the beginning of 2023, at least for posting. I don't know how long he's been riding before he started posting. You can see a clear progression at the beginning of the year to the end of the year. He's doing veteran moves at this point. Really smooth Keo Curry flat ground style stuff and mixing in stuff that goes off the air. He's doing 360s, 180 bars, all on his Thrasher with skinny tires. He's had one of the biggest come ups in recent years and I really hope he sticks to it because he's really fun to watch. Number four is the most veteran you can get on this list. And that's gonna be Satoshi Hashimoto out of Japan, 84 kick, that's my boy. Satoshi has been in this since the beginning. I'm talking 2007. Although he had a gap, you know, from maybe like 2014 to 2020, he picked it up right where he left off and now he's actually better than ever. He's innovative, he's got bike control, but most of all, he's extremely creative. He's always thinking about new ways to touch his foot and spin his bike in whichever way he wants. He even has a trick named after him, the 84 kick. It's like a hard direction foot plant. That's a tough one to figure out. Not only do we love his bike skills, he puts in a lot of work. Just under 60 Instagram clips for the year. He has a very active YouTube channel where he posts edits of himself and other people. And in the pro division for our trick track comp, the Suck My Comp 6, he got second place. So Satoshi, always traveling the world, riding his bike, putting in the work, a well-deserved number four. Number three, two of two, in the Australia scene, that's gonna be Max Corcoran out of Melbourne. Max had a huge year. He traveled a lot to ride bikes and made waves doing it. We're not sure if he's riding FGFS or Trick Track at this point, but he's still on 700C with relatively skinny tires, so we just say Trick Track for now. Super active on Instagram, just under 40 clips for the year. He's got a YouTube channel where he posts some fun content, and not only is he posting just like fun, quick content. He's also been featured slash posted four web edits for the year. That's a ton of web edits for just one year. I made one with him. He had one come out while he's in San Francisco with Human Trip. He had one come out with El Fakey Joe while he was in France and then he put one out himself. Then on top of all of this, he got first place at Trick Track Pro, Suck My Comp 6. All really impressive feats for the year. Max is killing it and he's gonna continue to kill it for a while. So many accomplishments and we're not even in the top two yet. Next up was a fresh face for last year and now his name just vibrates through the whole scene. That's gonna be Zhang Yujian, AKA ISE Ashi out of Korea. Zhang has taken the trick track world by storm. I do not say that lightly. His clips get thousands and thousands and thousands of views for a reason. He has some of the best bike control I've ever seen on an aluminum track bike. Just when you think he can't spin more, just when you think he can't pop more, every time you see a clip of him, he still blows your mind and goes bigger and better somehow every time. He's got crazy backwards wheelie control. He's got crazy air tricks. He's got five calves in his sleep. Although on paper, his year seemed quiet. He only posted about 12 Instagram clips for the year. All of them could be top contenders for clips of the year. That only leaves one more person, the king of 2023. I haven't mentioned his name yet, so you might already be guessing, but it's gonna be Jacob Bush, AKA Fixie Transformer. 
the fixed gear nomad. Jacob had a very good year on the bike. As far as Instagram clips go, he had just under 20 for the year. He put out a web edit, which was really impressive and had amazing tricks in it. And he also had a video section in Foad's last try video. What's impressive about Jacob's riding is he doesn't just stick to flat ground. He takes his trick track bike to spots. And you know I love spots. Not only is he taking his 28C tire trick track bike to spots, he's being innovative on them. All kinds of crank arm, duster, bar spin combinations. He takes it in the air, he stays on flat ground. He's just an overall amazing rider with no weak points anywhere. Jacob holds the belt once again for the year. He won last year. He's deserving of it again this year. Who's gonna dethrone him next year? Maybe never. That's it for the 2023 Trick Track SMCGR for the year. Last up is possibly the moment you've all been waiting for. We have a voting section now for the SMCGR titled The People's Champ. You guys get to vote for your favorite rider. This one's essentially a popularity contest. There's a reason we don't do it for the entire list, but let's see who's got some shooters out there. I'll be courteous enough to reveal the top three for the voting because I kept results hidden from the public this time. Number three was really impressive because this was a ride-in. That's gonna be Brazil's own Anibal. Anibal had 162 votes and that's as a ride-in. Super impressive. Second up in the voting came Philippines' own Kyle with just over 250 votes. The winner of People's Champ this year came out of nowhere is Armon, aka Bubbler, out of Oxenland. Armon had just under 400 votes, which is really impressive. I don't think anybody expected it. So congrats to Armon, People's Champ for the year. The people love you. And with that, we're gonna wrap up the SMCGR for Trick Track 2023 men's. Coming up next this week is gonna be women's, so look out for that. And then after that, we're gonna finish off with men's FGFS. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, follow us at suckmycog on Instagram. And then just a quick reminder, this is all opinion. If you're mad that so-and-so didn't make it on the list, first of all, don't be mad. Second of all, tell me I was wrong in the comments. I'd actually love to see your guys' take on the top 10. So if you have a top 10 list of your own, leave it in the comments. Catch you all for the women's list next. I'll see you then.